What's good and what's up guys, it's 2Jet here with some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we restored light to Faron Woods, regained our human form, as well as, uh, got a sword and stuff. Found out we're the chosen hero, and we're heading off towards the Forest Temple. In this episode, let's do that. Alright, so we gotta go through this cave one more time. However, I was gonna do a straight run through. Same enemies as before, it's just the keys and all that. So it's gonna go run right through. There's also the uh, Deku Babas. Keys again. We got the little rats right there. They're just gonna try to attack us. But there we go, we're at the end already. And once again, we're back here in the northern part of Faron Woods. If we come over here and we pull our lantern. Hey, what's that monkey's problem? You idiots, while you were staring off into dreamland, your lantern got stolen. So yes, this is one of my least favorite parts uh, of this portion of the game. So what we gotta do, the monkey store lantern, so of course we gotta follow it. I wanna have the map up right here. And you see, we could easily just let you know run that way to get over there. No. It'd be too easy. We gotta run all the way around here, basically up to where we got the piece of heart, and then around. So and we're gonna stop occasionally so the monkey can knock the fog away. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to speed this part up or not, but... Go faster. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. There are enemies in here too, so the monkey will uh, freak out too when like a Kis or a Deku Baba is getting ready to attack it. Also looks like I'm stabbing a monkey. Let's see, right there. Right, Alright, so we're not going all the way towards where we got the piece of heart, but... Well, if you didn't get the piece of heart early in the game, uh, have fun getting it now. Because <laughs> this fog, yeah, you have to like constantly, I think you have to constantly swing uh, the lantern. I don't know, I, I usually don't come in here uh, after this one time. I think another key's going to pop up around here. By the way, don't get overexcited right here when I forward, because, uh, yeah, there's still some of that fog here, so. Also, don't run too far ahead of Monkey right here, because they're gonna just stand there. And, come on, we're done. Give me my lantern back. There you go. I do wonder, though, what happens if you try to leave your lantern? Okay, yeah, but that stops you. Hey, aren't you forgetting something? Uh, no. And pick your lights back up. Yay! Why is that a rupee sound? Alright, so we're gonna put that here. And this is what you need the, um, the oil for. Fill that back up. And there you go. Let's just fill back up. I'm gonna put that there. What's this? Red potion? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I got a potion from, uh, the bird without paying for it. Forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, so we got some, uh... Here are the, um... Vocoblins, I think they're called. With our trusty sword, we could take them out without any difficulty. Whereas if we had the, uh... No, wait, we saw these guys before. Yeah, those Vocoblins. It's not up with a head. Bird's back, by the way. Is this still angry at me? <laughs> yeah, still pissed. Alright. What is that? It's something glowing.
sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. You may be destined to become the hero legend, and your current power will disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. You must use your courage to seek power, and to find it you must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this world despairs. If you do find true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. Enemies that are filled with energy will uh, quickly recover and attack again when stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a secret technique you can use to stun enemies to end their, bre uh, their, breath, uh, their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground, stun, L target, and press A to leap high into the air and deliver the final strike. When the uh, opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see finish uh, you will see finish A appear vividly before your eyes. Now try it on me. Alright, strange sir. So basically just jump attack, he'll fall over, and you'll see finish, press A, and boom. Hmm. That was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A. The first hidden skill, the ending blow, has been passed on. And there we go, we got the first hidden skill. There are still six hidden skills for you to learn. Those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero, the one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful. Test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for statues that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. That was the Hero Shade. Uh, I'll talk more about him later, but just keep in mind, we will see him six more times throughout the game. But for now, we have some enemies ahead of us. We have more book goblins. And oh, if we do this, jump attack, and then we finish them. Stab them in the crotch, that's how you kill them. So you kill anyone. <laughs> you uh, jump attack them and then stab them in the crotch and they're dead. Alright, so there you go, they're dead. And now if we burn their web, We'll begin the first dungeon of the game. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the Forest Temple, the first dungeon of the game. This one actually has a very cool mechanic to it. Uh, we'll go ahead and take you out first. Uh, if we veer off to the right real quick, if I'd uh, be left on the Wii version, obviously. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. We got school tools to take care of. Kill you. Destroy you. I think there's one more to take care of. Um, uh, I don't see one, so worry about it later. If we climb up here, this isn't anything too important. I just want to. Show it off in case you want to uh, get everything in this dungeon. By the way, I love the music here. I've never gotten a chance to listen to it before. <laughs> Sounds so cool. Hmm. Oops. Here's a chest. Uh, if we open it up, it gives us 10 rupees. I thought it was going to be 20, but whatever. I knew it was a yellow rupee. Because I'm a nerd. If we break these, they just give you like uh, 5 rupees. So, give me. We got um, another Deku Bob. Not gonna worry about him. We got Bokoblin. Stack him. And then finish. I said finish blow. Ah. That's what happens if you don't use the finish blow. Then they get up. Take you out. Take you out. I'm gonna save you. Don't worry. There you go. 
That's not. Yeah, it is the same monkey uh, from before. And then Minda's gonna talk to us. Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Aren't you the popular one? Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna ignore that Deku Baba. I really wish the music would stop playing. There we go, that's the music I like. I gotta listen to this after this recording. So let's go ahead and go to the next room. And this is the main central hub of the uh, temple. We'll be coming here quite a bit. Uh, here we have a skull Tula. Uh, this is the first introduction to them. If we hit them a few times, then we finish them. And there we go. Alright, so... Let's see, we can only really go forward, but actually, if we come down here first... Here we have a bombling. These guys are both enemies and uh, your first instance of bombs. Put that right there. And boom! You can basically think of the bomblings as uh, bomb flowers from uh, Ocarina of Time. And there's a uh, 20 rupees. Nice. So, rupees aren't going to be like too um, big uh, in this game, but it's good to pick some up just in case. However, the only way we can really go now is uh, forward. We can go ahead and light all these. Causing a bridge to lift up. Monkey's going to run ahead. If we veer off real quick, open this chest to get... The first item, the dungeon map. You know me, if you see my other Zelda uh, LPs, I usually put the map away. I don't know, it, it takes too much space on the screen. So, I don't see any point in doing it. That's a Ricky bridge. That was just mean. At least the monkey's alive, though. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, has there been a monkey fight? Uh, that's a monkey. I'm pretty sure that was a baboon. Oh no, now we can't go any further. Uh, we might as well go back. I don't know what she's, uh, or what's going on, but it seems like she wants uh, to take you somewhere. So maybe you should just follow her. Alright, I'll open the door for you. Go along, my monkey friend. Alright, so which way are we going? Where are we going? We go left. Cool. And this is the interesting mechanic I was talking about. Uh, we get to swing across with monkeys. So that's pretty fun. Open this door up, and we got stuff to do. Well, of course, this is a dungeon. Uh, if we come over here and mess with this bomb lane real quick. There we go. And run backwards real quick. Well, there we go. Now, you probably see something in the jar over here. If we pick it up... Phew! Out at last! Gracious! Once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. Why would you get in the plot to begin with? You are a big help, thanks! I've been looking for something in here, you see. Gracious, yes! You must need something in here, too. Shall we work together for a while, fellow adventurer? You may not... Er, you may not think I look like much, but I could be quite helpful. I could even warp you out of here if you want to leave. So don't uh, think of me as a burden. Uh, now, let's get started. This is Uku! Uh, if you call her in a dungeon, she will let you leave and allow you to return when you want. Uh, yeah. I will probably not be using this at all, actually. Uh, I've, I've used it once or twice before in previous playthroughs. But, um, Uku can be useful. I just don't tend to use her, so... Is a Deku Baba. Uh, something uh, cool about Uku to keep in mind is uh, her name is actually a reference to uh, the color of Link's tunic in Ocarina of Time. Also, if you shoot the spider, it'll run forward and plop into the water, so there you go. So, with this bridge, you could break the ropes like this. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't advise doing that. However, I'm running over here for a reason. Jump into the water. And there's a treasure chest, and here would be a nice 10 rupees for you. That's a big chest for a small prize. That'd be like 50 or something. 
Luckily, there's some vines right here, so we can just climb up if we want. Climb up, not to the left. That's one thing that Link usually does. If you're holding up and the camera's a different way, Link will climb to the left. Oh, we need a key. Actually, what we can do is if we backtrack real quick and we go through here. You'll notice these things can be um, blown around by the wind. Keep that in mind, because that will play an important part later in the dungeon. Skip over the keys. Take a second. So coming to here. This is a nice room. We can't go any further. There's a chest. Uh, something funny you could do real quick. Shoot him in the face. And off into the endless abyss. <laughs> you can do that with the other one, but however, he takes like more shots than just that one. But here's a small key. This is what we needed. So let's go ahead and double back. Rolling in the morning. Go, Link, go. Why am I calling him Link? I named him Arthur. <laughs> Whatever, force a habit, I guess. Hey, monkey. Did you miss me? Alright, so let's go ahead and run forward, jump across. I gotta sneeze. Oh, God. Uh, oh, and burp, apparently. I mean, my mic for the sneeze, but I'm keeping that burp in. Oh, look, another monkey! Yeah, I didn't mean my mic, good. You know, I still find it weird. I play through this game, also, the bridge is. gone. I play through this game how many times, and I've never noticed the song of this dungeon. I even have the soundtrack. Uh, we'll go. We'll do that, um, something with that monkey in a bit. Right here is a chest that contains ten rupees. So there you go. If you, if you want a way to get, uh, get rupees, there you go. So what we gotta do is hit the um, totem pole once to shake it, hit it, and then hit it again while it's still shaking, and there you go. Got some more bacoblings. These guys are funny to think they can take me. And then we can go right over here and finish him. You guys are funny. I like you. Alright, so now that they're taken care of, let's uh, go ahead and run up here with our monkey companions. If we stand right here. We're gonna play a little game of swing across the monkeys. So as you saw, uh, what you want to do is when you, you get to the furthest part of uh, their swing and something flashes on the screen, press A right there. So let's see, if we run over here, we'll see a very fancy looking chest and a symbol on the ground. However, we cannot do anything with that right now. So let's just go ahead and run back to the main room. So that's all we can do right here. Excuse me, thank you, thank you Baba. And there's a bombling over there if you want to mess with him. Alright, so if we stand right here, one of the monkeys will jump across. We'll jump across over here. Whee! And here we go. So jump across. And then we gotta burn the web. Burn! Alright, open the door. Let's see, in this room... Oh, this room's actually pretty interesting. You, we have a Deku-like like right here. Oh god. We have, uh, I think these are Deku Serpents, I think that's their name, I'm not quite too sure, but these are, uh, Deku-like legs. If you walk up to them, they're not going to do anything, however, let's say you jump off that ledge, they'll grab you, eat you, and stuff. Yeah, I think these are Deku Serpents, I think that's what they're called. However, there, I'll show this off, why not? I'll take, I'll take some damage for a viewer. If you jump across, yeah, they'll eat you. They're not going to steal anything from you, so, they're not actual life legs. Ow. However, you want to keep that in mind. We have a uh, bombling right here. Hi. So pick you up and then quickly throw you. And he died. All right. So now, if we jump across right here, uh, we'll have to get another bombling in a second. However, I want to pick something up real quick. 
You can pick this up whenever, but I just want to grab it right now. We climb up here, and uh, that door will become important soon. Don't worry, all these doors will be important. It's a dungeon after all. So if we throw the bombling like that, no, no, that, that's. Whoo! How did I not take damage from that? Pick you up, and then we drop you right here. Boom! Alright, let's drop down. And if we open the chest, there's a bobbling aside. We get our second piece of heart in the game. Only three more to go. Alright, now that's taken care of. Ow. What did I hit? I hit the invisible wall on a stump. Good job, me. Alright, actually, we need, we need you. Come here. Grab. And if we run across real quick, whoop, throw up there. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and climb up real quick. And then we have a room. Huzzah! This room will actually become important a bit later as well. Right now, uh, the main importance is the monkey. Wait, do we have a key? We do not, but I think there's a key right there in that chest. Yeah, there are some rupees. If this is not a key, then this room is kind of pointless right now. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. I was going to say. It's been a while since I played this dungeon, but I still remember quite a bit of it, because, you know, giant Zelda nerd right here. I do remember that, like, one of these torches has a, um... What are these guys called? Tile worms? Yeah. Right. Oh! Jesus. That started me. That. There we go. Alright, so you want to keep this room in mind because we'll be coming back here later for that chest right there. But for now, we gotta go free this monkey. Hey, let's go to her. If I could, you could do it where you get around him, and then you get, there we go. And then we finish him off. Boom. Dead. Hey, cool, thanks for heart. Open you up. Then the monkey claps. If we come in here, though, you can get some rupees. And I'll also do a spin attack to kill the monkey. I like doing spin attacks. It was fun. Alright, anyway, so now that we get the monkey, there's actually, uh, rupees up on the chest area right there. Not gonna worry about it, though. Just gonna run back. I like how they think they're sneaky. If you just remember to place with all of them, then you're fine. So, I think it... Yeah, we have to grab one more monkey, that's right. So, now we got you. If we run this away, take out those, uh, wall to us. The monkey just runs off. Yeah, I think they're called Waltulus. Yeah, that's right. And we run into here. Where'd you come from? There's another monkey. Oh, I thought the sound cut off for a second. I was scared. Key. Hey, that's my key. And now begins a mini boss without the mini boss music. Where are you? This guy is annoying to say at least. If you just keep swinging your sword, you can easily uh, get around attacking him. Oh. Come on. I think he takes like one or two more hits and then he's dead. What that sound it makes. There we go. Come on. Ow. Yeah, that's not what fitting is that. I love these one or two more hits he has. There we go. He's dead, so now that guy's gonna open up. And of course, that's just like a giant uh, Deku like like. So what we do? Bomblings. Where are you? Run over here to him. The Roman side. It's okay, monkey. Don't worry. He's dead now. I killed him. Hey, 
And with that, let's go ahead and pick up the key. Yay! Run over here to this monkey. Monkey, I see you. Open the cage up. And there we go. Right, let's go ahead and pick up some rupees. Uh, so I think that's going to end it off for this episode. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to continue through the dungeon, possibly actually finish it up. Because uh, we're pretty close to the end. Not pretty close to the end. We're like, uh, actually about to go take on the mid-boss. So, yeah. Next time we'll be doing just that. So I will see you all next time.